So, in the previous video, we have seen what is a factory and we explored how we can actually use a factory to uh, retrieve a set of students from the storage factory, from the storage class we created last time. So we have a class and we have the storage factory. Now, I want to talk about briefly about a concept called inheritance. Inheritance um, is supported by um, Solidity. And as you know, maybe from uh, older uh, programming languages, inheritance essentially it's when uh, you have a class and this class can uh, extend over a, a different class. Now, what can be done? Uh, the same concept can be applied to Solidity, of course. And Solidity doesn't just support inheritance, it also includes poly, uh, polymorphism. It means that a function call, either internal to the class or external to the class, uh, executes the function with the same name, uh, depending on the inheritance hierarchy. So what it means, it means that exactly like in other languages like Java or C Sharp or even JavaScript, um, you can have a function with the same name in two different places and then this function is going to be overwritten through uh, keywords such as the virtual of override um, keywords, which I'm not going to explore here because they are a little bit of advanced concept that are going to go on um, later. However, how can you extend uh, how can you extend a class and have inheritance in um, Solidity? So the way to do this in Solidity is to essentially say to have an is keyword. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to do is storage, where storage is the name of the class I previously defined. So let's have a look at what exactly happens so that we have an idea of how it changes. So here I put my deploy back to normal. So I have JS. So it's my local. Uh, I'm going to take my storage factory and I'm going to click deploy. So deployment is successful. I have my storage factory and I have these buttons here. I have add student, get student name, add student. And then I have also my storage array, which is because I declared it public. I have the function create storage, um, create storage right here. All right. So what is going to happen when I'm going to deploy the same thing, but I'm going to change this line. What is going to happen is that all the functions that I have defined inside my storage class in here, like add to class, get student, uh, set and get set name, they are actually going to uh, show up in here. So let's save this file. Let's go back to my deploy tab and now we select storage factory. Let's collapse this deployment. So we select the storage factory, deploy, and now we have a second deployment. And now, as you can see, this deployment actually contains all the setters and all the getters that we had in storage, as well as the ones in uh, storage factory. And uh, this is how you use uh, inheritance and polymorphism in uh, Solidity.